Joining us now is Bernie Madoff's lawyer, Ira Sorkin. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We talked with a number of victims over the last week or so, and some of them were appalled by your asking for this low sentence. Do you know why they were so angry? Obviously, we don't condone what our client did, but they're angry because they lost money, they were shamed, they lost their livelihood, uh, and uh, the, the outpouring of anger with respect to this particular case has been extraordinary. What has it been like for you? Because I know you've received hate mail, you've received uh, uh, even threats and anti-Semitic slurs against you. Did you anticipate any of this? No. Uh, I think the biggest issue for me in this is, and it saddens me and it saddens my contemporaries, is the lack of understanding by many, many people um, as to what we do as defense lawyers. In the end then, as the judge hands down this sentence, what was your thought? We did the best we could to protect his rights and to defend him. And that's why we asked for a sentence which we believed for a 71-year-old man was tantamount to a death sentence because his life expectancy was about 13 more years. Uh, his parents died in their 60s. Mm. Uh, and that's why we, uh, we did what we did. People who saw him in the courtroom yesterday already described a very changed, physically changed man. Is he changed physically? Is he changed psychologically, do you think? Well, I don't want to comment psychologically, but I think it's fair to say that he has expressed remorse from day one. He's never been articulate about it. He's never had the opportunity to do it. He did it at his plea. But jail physically will change you. Right. I and mean, under the conditions that he's in, it has to impact on you physically. This is a, this is a, uh, maybe the tough question. He delivers this statement to the court yesterday and to the victims in which he basically lets his family off the hook and says, you know, they didn't know about this. Were you involved at all in the preparation of that statement? I can't tell you whether the family is or is not. That's not what I'm asking. I understand. What I can tell you is, yes, we assisted as we do with all our clients. And since they're unfamiliar with the process, that's part of the role we play. We assist them in how to address the court, what they need to say truthfully and honestly, because if they lie to the court, they have other problems. But we do assist them. We explain what's going to happen, what questions the judge may ask, and how it's going to play out. So the answer is, of course we do. And so in the end, then, we are to take it that what he said in his statement to the court yesterday was true? Absolutely. Well, that will remain to be seen, I suppose. I suppose it will, uh, and uh, uh, we hope it plays out well for everybody. Mr. Sorkin, we thank you for your time. Thank you. Well. We do appreciate it.